Hello awesome people. I hope you're having a great day today. Today we're taking a look at the first book in the Eternal Champion Collection by Michael Moorcock that was republished uh, later on in his life. It was published in 1970. It's a novel called The Eternal Champion. It's in the first book of the Eternal Champion Collection, which I'll link to you in the comments below. And it's in the Eternal Champion series. So that's confusing. <laughs> It was one of the, the first Eternal Champion uh, novels uh, early on. There was, a, there was an Elric novel before this called Stormbringer in 65, and there was some Dorian Hawkman stuff uh, that started getting published in 67. But this is before Horam. That's before Elric became a huge series uh, and the most uh, read series in the Eternal Champion Chronicles. It introduces the character of Eric Hose, uh, in, who will fight uh, the good fight. So uh, there you go. Let's go ahead and get started with my review then. As a reminder, my reviews are spoiler free. So I won't be doing a deep dive into the uh, stuff. But I like to get you started with the, with the novel and what's happening. So we're starting. Uh, we're set in Earth in modern day. Uh, there is a character named John Dacre who is married and with kids. Each night when he sleeps, he hears the name of Eric Jose coming from a distant voyage uh, beyond. Uh, he can't tell if it's coming from beyond the world or from you know the future or from the past. He just can't tell. Uh, but it's calling his name uh, and telling him to come and fight the hounds of evil, uh, the, the the nasty Eldrin, uh, and to fight fight for the good cause of humanity again, just like he used to. He agrees to. A couple of chapters later, he'll arrive in this plane of existence uh, and begin the fight, uh, the, the the good battle for, for against the Eldrin, the Hounds of Evil, uh, for humanity. Uh, we'll find out that he used to be uh, one of the founders of this kingdom, uh, and that this king is the last of his kind. But he has a daughter uh, to marry into, which will become the love interest of El Rokosu named Ailinda. And, and so then he's going to start to fight uh, and there, there um, he'll, as he gets an update as to what's happening like in chapter 5, uh, the Eldrin have captured all of the southern continent, they ca which is about one third of the landmass on this plane uh, and there are two more, about two thirds that are left for uh, folks and so now he's being brought in uh, and uh, in, because they can't recruit more people, so they figured either they got to inspire them with somebody strong or have a great leader that can answer the the evil sorcery of the elder. So there you are. That's that's the basic plot point of what's happening uh, in this novel. It's the fight against the hounds of evil, uh, the Eldrin race of folks that use sorcery and do some dark things and so forth, and humans been pushed back and now they're trying to uh, and have lost a third of their lives and so forth. So the Eternal Champion series uh, is again set. It's one of the most iconic series. It's the first multiverse uh, series, and in fact, it actually creates the concept of a multiverse. And the name too uh, comes from, is also created by Michael Moorcock. And so that's all the first stuff. So having a uh, multiversal conflicts in your fantasy, your science fiction, your science fantasy, your horror, whatever uh, that's coming from this. That's that's where this gets started. Uh, there, there is a central conflict between law and chaos on each plane of existence. Uh, so that's where it's coming from. And that gets you started. So, uh, and then the Eternal Champion is a is an is an icon on each of these plants who fights uh, the good fight for law against the evils of chaos. So that's what's happening, and that central sort of law versus chaos is hugely influential. It's where we get the the the, uh, the alignment of law versus chaos in the first Dungeons and Dragons game, for example, uh, and and it got overlaid on top of that good versus evil in the advanced Dungeons and Dragons first edition that that added that on top of it. But it was it started with a in law versus chaos ar archetype, and that's where that started got started from. I mentioned earlier Elric, that's probably the most well known of the Eternal Champions and his sword Stormbringer and so forth. But Eric Holse has a sword that's poisonous uh, to anybody that's not him uh, that he'll come across, that he'll get in like the the first couple, as soon as he arrives uh, in the uh, in this new plane of existence for you folks. So that's cool. I like this novel. It's dark. It's fun. I like it. Uh, I read this novel when I was in high school about this collection I was reading, uh, Michael Moorcock. Michael Moorcock was my favorite author back when I was in high school and I just first, first discovered him. Uh, I started reading his, his Hawkmoon uh, stuff, his Hawkmoon novels, uh, which I've already re reviewed for you. And then I've gone back and reread the next ser the next trilogy in the Hawkmoon series too. Uh, just re just recently, a few weeks, yeah. Uh, so that's fun, uh, and then I just reviewed those, uh, and that's fun stuff. So anyway, um, 
I like it. I, I enjoyed it. And he, Ari Salvatore was my previous favorite author with History of Sword and stuff uh, in junior high. Uh, but I discovered Michael Moorcock in high school. So I, and I started to pick up these. And this is the first uh, collection in the Eternal Champion series. Again, called Eternal Champion and the novels Eternal Champion 2. That's weird. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I like it. I think it's dark. I'm, so I'm giving this probably like an 8.5 out of 10. It's fun stuff. It's very fun stuff. It's probably one of his better novels out there uh, because of how interesting and fun it is. Uh, my main issue was, was the ending. Not how it ends. That, that's foreseeable, but just how fast it is. It's like in like five pages. And I would have preferred it to like take a while longer. This novel is about 150 pages long. I read it in about 50, it's, it's 156 pages. Uh, I read it in 50 minute chunks uh, as each one ended a chapter. So it took me about an hour and 10 or 15 minutes. So it's less than four hours total uh, for me to knock it out in three days total. You could easily do it in four days with an hour a day because it's less than four hours all, all total. So I liked it. It's fun stuff. So there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. Have you read this? If so, what'd you think about it? Did you agree or disagree with my comments? Go ahead and talk about it in the comments below. Uh, if you enjoyed this, why not hit that subscribe button? There should be a lot more days to follow. And then finally, I want to thank you so much for taking some time out of your day and investing it and watching my video. We all have so many things that are happening in our lives, and we're pulled in so many different directions. So the fact that you spent this time with me is incredibly humbling. I appreciate it. So thanks again, and have an amazing day.